the two men of faith who earned the kingdom of heaven. Baldwin, the leper king of Jerusalem, suffered to such an extent that he had to hide his face behind a mask. He had no sensation in his right arm, but learned to ride a horse with only his knees. When he heard of Saladin's invasion, he marched to intercept him with only a few men and took Saladin by surprise. Baldwin raised the relic of the true cross in front of his troops. He dropped to his knees and begged God for victory, and victory it was. The 16-year-old leper king defeated the great Saladin, who barely escaped capture, fleeing on a camel. However, it was not over for Saladin, and his time came after Baldwin had died. He defeated the Crusaders at the Battle of Hatton and conquered Jerusalem. A great massacre of the Christians was expected to revenge what they did to the Muslims hundred years ago. But Saladin the Wise granted amnesty to all. He famously said to his men, I warn you against shedding blood, for blood never sleeps.